Hello, I'm Jose Gonzalez. I'm going to be talking today about my regions that are going to be today's, uh, this week's regions, Africa, North Africa, and Egypt. I'm actually going to be talking about Egypt today. I'm not doing my presentation in the class because I can't be there this week, so I'm sorry about that. So, Egypt. We all know a little bit about Egypt. I mean, when I think about it, I probably think about the pyramids first and maybe like hot weather, I don't know, something like that. But there's a lot to it, you know. And I have a friend who actually went there for a couple months and he told me a little bit about it since I was doing this presentation here today. Uh, he had a pretty fun time. It was the best trip he has had. He went to this big market where they do like this, you know, prize wars and stuff. It's pretty fun how they do. But yeah, so Egypt. Capital of Egypt, El Cairo. I'm actually going to be talking about this city with my geographical issues. El Cairo is actually the, also the biggest city of the, of the country. For the currency, they use the Egyptian pound, and for the language, the official language is modern Arabic, but they use mostly the Egyptian Arabic. For my issues, I'm going to be talking about water scarcity and air pollution, and I'm going to explain to you how that relates to a geographical level. Uh, well, let's get into it. So water scarcity, what are the main causes for that? First, there's not enough rainfall. So you get a limited rainfall, which means that your crops are not getting enough water, people are not getting enough water for the resources, and they have to find another way to get this water. Right? Another reason is increasing population, which makes increasing demand for water, which is worse if you have less water now, right? Uh, we also have a lot of waste. Uh, basically like 85% of the water that gets used for like uh, fertilization and all that gets a lot of chemical waste from the fertilizers, from the pesticides and all that goes back to the Nile River, <coughs> which is also the main source of water. So if they get this, all this pollution in this river, they're getting this water and they're consuming this water and it's very bad for them. In case you don't know the river, Nile River, it's the biggest river in the world. It um, goes through 11 countries, although here I'm just zooming on to the so you can see where it goes through. Um, yeah, so that's for water scarcity, a uh, big issue in there. Actually, if you can, you know, you look up some pictures of Al Qaeda, you'll see how the water level, because they have water, they have uh, houses and, and water, like in the same houses. But now the level is like really low, so. You can see it actually affecting them a lot. So for my second issue, I'm gonna be talking about air pollution and how does it relate to geography? Well, I'll tell you in a bit. So basically, Cairo has one of the worst, uh, probably the worst breathable air in the world. And has been going on for a lot of years, so I can't really imagine how it is right now. Uh, one of the reasons for this, well, there's a lot of reasons. First, you have like two million cars just pounding on the street every day you know, releasing a lot of pollution to the air. Then you have all the factories releasing smoke through the air all the day. You have all the farmers uh, burning their crops at the end of the, year, the season, like the rice crops at the end of the season, which also throws a lot of smoke in the air. And then you have, well, Kairos topography, which is not really good for all this pollution because see, Kairos topography, which is, you know, how the Nado uh, places are they are situated basically in a valley and they're surrounded by big hills. So what this does is that it, all the, the air gets clogged in there and it gets concentrated, all this poison air. And it basically just stays there like water in a bowl. So that's why, you know, Cairo has such a big problem with the air pollution. Not only because of what, how they're doing, how they're managing the, you know, the, all the production and all that, all the pollution, but also all the air gets trapped in there because of the, the way the city is made. So, something to think about that. Uh, well, yeah, those were my two geographical issues. Hope you learned something, and I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I'm Jose Gonzalez.